Ike, we promise. Joining us is Liz Cheney. Good to see you. Great to be here, Bob. Thanks for having me. Let's get this carpet bagging issue up front and center now, because there's allegation. Uh, there's editorials in National and Wyoming newspapers and some of the our congressional delegation carpet bagging. You were born in Madison, Wisconsin, right? You went to Clean Virginia. You went to high school. You lived in Casper a little bit. You lived in Virginia. Most yeah, you know, my um, my family uh, has longtime roots in Wyoming. Actually, right. I'm a fourth generation Wyomingite. Okay. Um, we uh, settled here. My great grandfather and his brothers did in 1907, actually, uh, <coughs> in my site and lost cabin. And Wyoming's always been my home. You know, when we left uh, when I was 12, it was because my dad was uh, elected to represent the people of Wyoming. Uh, I tell people it's not like I woke up one morning and said, hey, you know, let's relocate. But, uh, but I'm proud of the service uh, that, that my father had for the people of Wyoming. And, and proud of the service that I had to the nation, actually, when I was uh, working in Washington as well. And, and I think that that experience is experience that I'm, I'm bringing to the race now. And, and thrilled to be back home and very excited to be in this race. Okay. Uh, I guess timing. Why now? You know, um, Bob, it's, it's because I'm so concerned about the policies coming out of Washington, about the massive encroachment of the federal government on the freedoms and the values uh, that, that we treasure here in Wyoming, uh, the values that really built this state. Um, uh, you know, a, a real adherence to the Constitution, a commitment to freedom, a commitment to opportunity. And, you know, we've watched for four and a half years as this president has, I think, imposed a very radical agenda uh, across the nation. And it's an agenda that hurts Wyoming disproportionately. You know, whether you're talking about his war on coal, whether you're talking about what he's used his EPA to do in terms of attacks on our ranch, our ag industry. Um, but, but I believe that we're really at a critical moment in the life of the nation. And uh, I don't think any of us can afford to sit on the sidelines any longer. I think if we don't stand up and fight and say enough is enough, we aren't going to go along to get along with, with a very dangerous set of policies, uh, then we could be, you know, in a very bad situation for the nation. Is uh, Senator Anzi is one of the most, has one of the most conservative voting records uh, in the U.S. Senate. Is that conservative enough for you? You know, I think it's, uh, it's time for a new generation. And um, what I plan to do over the course of this campaign is lay out why I think we need somebody in Washington who will stand up and fight. Um, I, I just don't think that we can continue business as usual in Washington. Um, I think that there are just simply too many threats uh, to our freedoms, too many threats to our values. Um, and we, we've got to stand up and fight against the encroachment of this president's policies and then, frankly, have a strong voice who can, you know, lay out, look, these are the things that we believe in in Wyoming. These are the things that we believe in as conservatives. This is why we should be taking the nation in a different direction from the direction President Obama is attempting to, to take us in. Last year I read in the Casper Star Tribune, I think you said something to the effect that uh, Senator Enzi is a terrific senator and an old friend. What's changed? You know, I think it's, it's time for a new generation, as I said. I think that, you know, uh, we face very grave challenges, and the people of Wyoming are going to have to decide whether or not, you know, you want to continue down the path where, frankly, uh, over the four and a half years of the Obama administration, every single day things are getting worse. Uh, and I think that we simply cannot afford any longer um, to, to say, all right, well, we're going to allow the expansion of, you know, massive tax increases, or we're going to allow uh, Obamacare uh, to be imposed, or we're going to sit silently by while the EPA releases private information of our farmers and our ranchers. Uh, we have to stand and fight, and we can't wait a day longer. I want to give you time. Did you call Senator Enzi and tell him you were running yesterday? I called Senator Enzi uh, several weeks ago to tell him that I was taking a look at, uh, at the race, that I wanted him to hear it from me. Um, I did not ask him if he was running. Um, I did not, you know, tell him that I wouldn't run if he did. I was, you know, really calling him up to say, listen, I'd like you to know I'm taking a look at this. Uh, and I believe very strongly that this is a decision you've got to make regardless of whoever else is in the race. You know, I'm, I'm making the decision because I believe, uh, you know, very strongly in what's important in terms of the direction of, of the state and of the nation. Listen, I just want to set the record straight. I know we're out of time, but it, it, it appears to me that he's saying that you said you would not run Unless he were retired. Is that I think the senator's confused. Okay. I think he may have me confused, for example, with Cynthia Lummis. I know she said that. Uh, I did not say that to him. Uh, and, you know, the senator said something different last week to the New York Times. What I said to him was I wanted him to know I was taking a look at it. Uh, and, and I've been clear from the beginning that my decision to run is based on issues. It's based on substance. It's based on a commitment to running the kind of campaign the people of the state deserve. Uh, we're out of time. Good luck Great. to you, Liz Thanks. Janney. Appreciate Thanks it. for coming. Good to be All with right. you, Bob.